Welcome to Vocab TV, and as always, I'm your host, Mr. Vocab TV, Tali. Today we're doing something different from downtown in the Wall Street area. As you can see, standing to my left is our Candy Man of the Month, Ozzy, Mr. International Banks. So we live from you doing African Fashion Week. So we want to talk about, you know, some of the things that got you into modeling and why did you start modeling? Um, like, I'm going to start and say hi. Um, I started modeling like, since like 15 years now, and knowing 22 country, speaking seven languages. And when I started modeling, and why I started modeling, just like when I was young, I don't know, like I was with my friend, and he was supposed to do being a like model. And when I get hit there, like invite, and the, the designer meets someone, and he said like, you know, I need you. And I was like, I don't know nothing about working and modeling. And yes, I started that day, and 15 years ago now. Yeah, but I don't want to cut you off right there, but you said 15 years. You look like you're about 18. What's going on? You've been modeling for 15 years? Yeah, uh, like 15 years. And yeah, I got a lot of, I can't say like, God bless me already. Because like 27, like I got 27 years. See, we doing something live on location for African Fashion Week. Like this is really big. A lot of people don't know how big African Fashion Week is, but can you tell us about the experience of working here with all of the different models and things like that? Yeah. First of all, that was a dream when I was like young and in, in Europe, being doing African Fashion Week, especially in New York City, because I was hitting like some friend and like colleague telling me like the African Fashion Week, especially in US. But for me, that's that was the dream to make the dream happen like now. And what I'm saying is just like I'm so glad to be here, and that's very important for my career too. So I'm assuming with, you know, all of the different languages and all the different places that you've been, that's where you get your nickname, Mr. International from, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah, I was, I can say like I was lucky because I started when I was young, like in Senegal, in West Africa. And after that, I moved like in Morocco, just doing uh, Morocco, doing some fashion show. And after that, I moved to Europe. And at the same time, I was doing like, modeling and, and acting, you know. And they gave me like opportunity to go around the world and doing like awesome job I can say that yeah absolutely so you know like for some of the models that's coming up you know you work hard and I've been seeing you putting a lot a lot of work in there so you want to give any like pointers and tips for you know like you said you've been doing it for 15 years you want to give any tips for any of the guys that's coming up that's modeling how to stay focused in it you know do as well as you're doing right now you know so my philosophy is just like being model is not like you don't have to so going to people say like I'm a model People have to come to you and say like, you look like model or the question, are you model? And what I'm saying is just like, yeah, if you trust yourself and then let, no, don't let your hand down, you can make it. But you have to work hard. That's my philosophy, work hard. For anybody out there that want to stay in shape, because I see you keep yourself in good shape. You know, we like to give health pointers and things like that. What are some of your diets or how do you eat and how do you maintain your physique? Um, I can't say like, when I born, I born naturally lucky me like with the perfect body but at the same time what I'm saying is just like I have to work hard to maintain my body like eat healthy you know what I mean and I work and I work out a lot but natural not on the gym like you know doing some protein or some 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 kind of like this it's just like yeah if you trust something and you believe something you have to work hard that's that's what that's the, the only thing what I can say but on the same time what I'm saying just like for the new generation coming up Everybody, one more time, can be model, but on the same time, you have to put yourself behind. So we got this young up. man that's standing next to you. Um, yeah. He looks like you. Is this your brother? And yes, well, your introduce brother. yourself to the world. Okay, yeah. My name is Zuma, you know. I came from Senegal, West Africa, but I grew up in Paris. Uh, this is my big brother right here, AZ Banks, and he put me on this industry too. First of all, like, I was thinking that like I could be a model, but because of him, you know, he put me on it. And anytime he was telling me like, okay, trust yourself, you can success. And then like, I start, okay, I'm going with him. So like I say, it's like, being model is not about, okay, you have a perfect body, or you can do it. No, it's just like, you have to believe in yourself. So the little brother is about to step up and take over the shadow and put you in his shadow. But um, before we go, you know we're a fashion magazine and we're about beauty, swag, and fashion. Of course you guys are swagged out, but when you think about beauty, swag, and fashion, what are some of the things that come to mind and how you like to dress to keep yourself comfortable when you go out on your leisure time? You need to be classy. You need to, you know. Um, and what I'm saying is just like, you got a feeling. You got it or you don't get it. 
you know, and I can't explain how I can't explain it. I don't know how I can explain it, but that's the same thing. Like, you wake up and you have your dress, like a lot of t-shirt. What are you doing? You just keep one with the, you, you got a feeling. You got it or you don't got it. That's it. That's what I'm thinking. And but one more time, I can say, I want to say like, thank you. Thank you for Bug Magazine, because um, that's the opportunity for me doing this job for you though, guys. But we thank you. We want. I don't. I ain't mean to cut you off, but we want to say thank you for giving us the opportunity to actually have you in our magazine because it's a pleasure to work with you to see you working hard as well. Yeah, you know, for me, I'm not like a celebrity for me. For me, yes, I can tell that because like on my face page, I got like one million two hundred people coming to me, like my pictures, share my pictures without knowing me. First thing is just like modesty, you know. And that's why I re respect everybody doing a great job. And you guys, especially Bug Magazine, respect. All right, thank you very much. We ain't going to take much more of your time. But before we do go, I want to give you the opportunity to, you know, for some of your new fans that you're going to get on Vocab TV and Vocab Magazine, yeah. give some of your outlets to where they could get more in tune with Ozzy, Mr. International Bank. Yeah, so one more time, guys, you can go catch me to, like, Facebook, AZ Banks, International Model, or on my page, or on Twitter, or on Instagram, but for me, everybody have to follow Vocab first because that's amazing, amazing. That's something that no one has ever done, and I definitely want to say we appreciate that. Right. But coming to you from the African, the start of the African Fashion Week, we have Ozzy Banks here, who's going to be our Candy Man of the Month for that hot new issue and the July yeah. issue of Vocab Magazine. And as always, I'm your host, Mr. Vocab TV, Talik, where beauty, swag, and fashion is always our lifestyle. We just want to make it yours. Until next time.